Hello, welcome back to the vlog. I'm your host, Robbie. The microphone shootout is over. The Sennheiser MKE 400 is the winner. I made a comparison video of all of these microphones and it ended up being almost 20 minutes long. That will be a separate video. I feel like I have a lot of things to say about the stuff I've used and I'm somebody who actually uses the stuff. I here. I don't want to say for a second that reviewers on YouTube aren't doing a good job. They are doing a good job. But when you are only reviewing things, you literally do not have the time to actually go out and use them in practical situations. So in a way, they're kind of reviewing for other YouTube reviewers because they're looking at it from the perspective of how is this piece of equipment to use to make a review? Not how is this equipment for actually making a video like out in the field. And I have a lot of experience using my stuff out in the field, like a lot of experience. We're talking 50 episodes of Adventure Archives experience that I could be sharing with people. Because a lot of the things you don't even know what to look for unless you've done it a few times and you're like, oh, you know, that is a recurring problem. So to that end, while I was trying out all of these microphones, I was like, I should definitely make a review of everything. Uh, the Sony microphones are going back. They just, shock mounts are just unacceptable, unfortunately. Fantastic microphones otherwise. Okay, let's, uh, let's go return these microphones. It's time for a run once again. We are going to wear the watch today, but we are not going to look at my heart rate while I'm running. Just use the own internal barometer, see how I feel, push it when I can, don't push it when I can't, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. John, Cougar Melon Camp. That was a roughly seven minute, 40 second mile. The fastest one I have done in a very long time. Oh my God, definitely out of shape, but it's been feeling good. That's the type of thing that you want, is you want it to feel good, even if it hurts. I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but it's like we live with two people inside of us, the words inside your head, and then the actual body itself. It's like a conversation. Because if you just listen to your body, you would ask it, should we exercise? And it would say, no, I'm good, man. And if you asked your brain if we should exercise, it'd be like, yeah, we're gonna exercise two hours a day for the rest of our life. Get with the program. So you gotta find a nice balance in the middle where your lazy body actually does what your overly ambitious brain asks it to do. I've talked in the past about how I don't like solutions that are just MacGyvered. I want the solutions that are just exactly what you're looking for, which is weird because I'm the person who used Amazon boxes for my speaker stands for years before my buddy Dave was like, I can't look at this anymore. I'm making you these stands. These have been awesome, by the way. For example, the mount for these two microphones, this is the proprietary exact solution that I crave. Previously, I had attached the microphone onto this little thing right here. It worked okay, but it was never exactly the way I wanted it. I don't know what it is in my brain, but I cannot stand these like hack together solutions. However, I'm trying to meet somewhere more in the middle. For example, on this tripod, these little levers are constantly getting moved. And if they get moved, you can't extend the arms all the way. So finally I was like, why am I still dealing with this? A simple piece of black tape just put right there and it stays in place. Almost no money was needed to be spent. It's a very simple solution. 
and all it took was me thinking about it for a second and coming up with a nice solution. The problem is I'm always trying to buy my way out of problems. I bought this microphone to solve a very specific problem, which is that when I'm facing the camera talking to the microphone, it sounds great. But when I turn the camera around and I'm talking to the back of the microphone, it sounds terrible. This microphone has two microphones, one facing forward, one facing back. And you can talk to the back microphone and it sounds really good. But a cheap and free solution just suddenly occurred to me. Instead of just talking to the back of the microphone, I can unplug the microphone. That activates the microphone in the camera. And the camera microphone goes in every direction. And since I'm already right next to the microphone, it's gonna sound pretty good. Such an easy, free solution that I didn't even think of because I'm always in such a the mindset of, mm, what piece of gear can solve this problem? Not, is there any simple fix for this problem? And a quick digression for any human interaction and especially internet interactions. If somebody tells you that they have a problem and they're struggling with that problem, or if somebody tells you one of their character flaws, the least helpful thing you can do is say, I don't have that problem, you shouldn't have that problem. I'm not proud of the fact that I have the mindset of what gear can I buy to solve this problem? But nonetheless, that mindset is there. The first step towards fixing a problem is identifying and accepting that you have that problem. When I talk about getting in shape, I very specifically am just talking about cardiovascular fitness. I'm not talking about any body shape because for me to tell anybody what they should do as far as their body shape would just be the most pointless thing ever. I have looked like this my whole life with almost no effort. Granted, I do exercise all the time, but if I didn't exercise all the time, I would still look roughly like this. So while I do hate these hack together fixes, sometimes the best fix is also the simplest and cheapest one. Pull that out, talk to the camera. In fact, we need to test that. I'm not 100% sure that that would actually sound good. So imagine a situation like this, I'm walking around, and then I say, oh, what is this balloon right here? I flip the camera around and I start talking about the balloon, but oh no, my audio sounds so bad. So then I just unplug the microphone and then I'm talking directly into the camera's microphone. How does that sound? I don't know. Maybe it sounds okay, maybe it sounds bad. But I've just been thinking about all of the different things that I'll need to have kind of perfected from the last time that I went to Japan. Since we're going to Japan again this year, I wanna be prepared and have everything like nice and smooth, my gear nice and svelte. I'm always trying to streamline and get all the friction away. A big part of that is definitely that I wanna be able to make videos more easily. But I think also I just have an interest in that in general. What is like the best setup that uses the least amount of parts and is the fastest moving and is the easiest to use. Always very interesting to me. Okay, that'll do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow it is time to get deep into the bowels of editing the new Adventure Archives episode. We have not even started yet, so it is time to get started. But until I see you next time, hope you have a good one. See you then. Previously, <clears throat> previously on Lost, <laughs>